And so in this video, I'm going to be showing the best licensing system that you can use for your applications. Um, either just be a basic, you know, .NET application or a web, well, website. Um, I'm basically going to cover everything that I possibly can in this video, um, just to show you everything that this auth has to offer. Um, whether that be the prices, um, how many users currently are, other features, and we'll just go from there. Um, so to get started, the service is called Keyauth. It is an open source authentication system with cloud hosted subscriptions. Um, the link will be down in the description, but up here it is Um As soon as you come to the actual site you will see all on top it gives you options to go to the features pricing the change log as well as documentation and support um over here log in and register and then you have the ability to start um on github um so if you like the examples that you find by the service then you can you know give it a start um going down you will see this image right here this is basically just a little preview of what it has to offer now keep in mind that a lot of these options well mainly right here are only for paid subscriptions so if you're on a tester plan then you won't be able to have it but if you do have developer or a seller then you will have access um also this is a little bit outdated there are some new features that need to be added um and the site does plan to be updated soon um so coming down here why kiosk it tells you you know end to end encryption unlike other services um kiosk actually strives to protect user data as well as if it's just going from your application to a, another application or if it's coming from our server side um down here you'll be able to see the amount of accounts the applications licenses as well as the uptime in the last month 99.46 percent that's not bad um considering how many people we have and how many people actually tried to um use this item once um going a little bit further down you'll be able to see detailed tutorials um so if you click here it will take you straight to the the key auth youtube if you click here, it will take you to the GitHub where you can find all the examples. Um, down here are just a few vouchers. Here it talks about features. Again, this has updated. There are more features than this. Um, again, the site will be updating soon. Now, getting into our pricing, this is probably the cheapest licensing system that you can probably get. Um, especially for how good it is, it's kind of shocking. Um, so for zero dollars, you can have 50 users, upload files up to 10 megabytes, uh, variables, logs, hardware ID, black uh, blacklist, um, and that's all for you know nothing. Uh, now, if you do want to upgrade and go to the developer description, uh, I mean seller subscription, uh, you'll see there are some things that are in, like common. Um, you know, unlimited users, the same amount of file for, you know, uploading, webhooks, vars, logs, uh, blacklist, resellers. Um, the only thing that you don't get is the seller API access as well as the Discord bot. Uh, the seller API basically allows you to do just about everything you would normally do from the website, uh, but inside your application. Uh, so if you're making your own website or a um a c sharp program or c plus plus and you want to be able to generate a key for users then you can do it from there instead of having to go all the way into the website and do it um and then if you come down here you will be able to join the discord um support license terms of service contact us the status as well as the documentation now i really advise you to look over the terms and service it's really not that long um it just you know it tells you the do's and don'ts um and it's kind of strict so if you do break one of them then you will have your account banned um so we're just trying to make sure that you actually know everything that you you know should and shouldn't do um 
So coming over here, if we click on login, I'll just go ahead and log in. If I remember my information. Okay. So once you first log in, you'll be prompted to choose an app. Um, if not, then it will be prompted to create an application. So we'll just do a new one. As you see, my Apple and Peanut. Um, YouTube123. Click on Submit. And it's going to refresh. It's going to take you into here. Um, here is the licenses page. So you'll be able to um, see the application that's selected, the application secret. Uh, you can change it, rename it, pause, refresh, or delete. Um, you know, create keys, import keys. So if you're coming from another service and you would like to import keys from the other service, all you got to do is come in here and enter the format just like it shows and then your keys will be added um, you can also add time um, to all of them uh, you can download all the keys delete all of them and then if you want to copy csv X, uh, excel pdf or print you can do that as well um, just like if we click on create keys you'll see amount you can change the mass level give it a note and then set the expiration um, if you come over here to users um, same thing, you can create your user right here, username, password, and give them a, sub, a custom subscription. Um, you can also set a variable for them. And then the kind of the same thing as licenses, you can import users. Extend the users, delete. Um, delete all the users, expired, or hardware, I de reset all of them. Coming down to subscriptions. Uh, subscription is basically like, you know, it's a subscription. It's kind of like a little custom level that anyone, that you can assign to anyone. So if you want only like subscription A to be ac to be able to access this part, and then subscription B to be able to access this part, um, that's probably what you would use it for the most. Um, chats. Now, even though this is an off service, we do provide chat rooms. Uh, we feel it is important for you to be able to communicate with the users as well as your users be able to communicate with their users. So it's really simple. All you got to do is click on um, create channel, add a name, the chat cooldown, um, select the unit, and then just add. Um, you can also clear the channel. So if there's a lot of messages, you can clear it. Come over here to sessions. Here, anytime someone logs in and there is an active session, you'll be able to see the session that is active right here. It gives you the ID, credential, um, when it expires, if it's authenticated, and then you can manage it. Um, webhooks, go ahead, create a webhook. Uh, put the endpoint right here, and then the user agent right here. Um, so you can do a whole lot. Um, so, say you're using like Celix or you know, Shopee, something like that, and you want to view certain things or send secure things you can do it via the webhook um going into our files if you click on create files you can upload your file here well you have to upload it to either like a third party file host so it can be discord mediafire um anything like that and then once you put it there get the link and then you put the link here um and then once it's there, then you can click add, and then you will have a file ID that generates, and you can use that ID. Um, going into variables, you can create a variable and set the data. So if you want to see a variable for a specific user, you can do it uh, that way. The logs, um, for the logs, it will show you basically the log date, um, the data, credential, and the device name. Blacklist. If you would like to blacklist someone, you can do so by choosing either the IP address or the hardware ID. Um, this goes into your settings. 
here you will be able to choose the status um you know hwrd lock vpn hashtag um you'll be able to set custom messages so like um if you need to where's it at um like if it's disabled then you can put it here and it will say oh well the app's disabled um you can't use it or use key already um and it kind of shows right here you know all the text boxes in the section are custom error responses um and then you can just fill that out uh, if you come down here you can actually set up a reseller for Shopee um and Celix. So if you like to create a reseller and have them have the ability to resell keys, then you can do so as well. Um just enter other information in here and it's really simple. Um if you come over here to upgrade, I'm not gonna go to manage. Well actually yes I will. Um the upgrade, here it goes, it tells you I already have, already have, already have. If not, then it's going to say purchase. I just click on it and it will take you to where you need to. So now if you go to account and manage, um, click on create. You can create either a reseller or a manager. Um, what application you would like them to manage. Um, create the username, email, password, and then the amount of levels. Um, so I'm not going to go down to there. For seller settings, you'll be able to see the seller key as well as the seller link. And then here you'll be able to add the Discord bot um, if you do have seller. And then here is the, the web loader. Um, so if you want to do something from your application, um, well, actually, if you want to do something not from your application, then you can do it via the website. So all you have to do is click on create button, the text and the value, and then you can control your application from the website, as simple as that. Um, so that's basically all for the website. Besides for up here, you can join you know, the Discord or Telegram, and then view account logs. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all for the website. Now getting into the examples, uh link will be down in the description. If you go over here to github.com slash kiosk, um, you'll be able to see all the examples that we have. Um, so Visual Basic, C++, Python, the source code, since it is open source, um, you'll be able to find the source code here. Uh, the C Sharp example, PHP, Discord bot, Rust, as well as the seller api link first um so that's pretty much all the examples that we currently have and now going right into the docs um this is all basically for you know seller api um except for up here this is just the regular api and it shows you you know post request all that um down here, you know, you have everything from license to settings. So if you click on license, here it is. Um, all you got to do is copy this link. You put your seller key here, your expiry here, the mass level amount, and then you know, just go through it, see what you can and can't do with it. Um, but you can do basically everything you can do from the website. Um, that's pretty much all for this video. Again, Kioth is probably one of the best authentication services that you can use. It has so many features. The staff is great. Um, downtime is like hardly ever. Um, and if it is, then it comes right back up. Um, so if you do have any questions, just you know comment down below or join the Discord. Links down in the description. Um, if you'd like to see anything else, just let me know as well. Um, and other than that. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.